Hi all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Let's start reading off using your iPad. In last session, so we had discussed about a couple of new things, so which is something about how to use the OneDrive and SharePoint activities, so how to get a file, how to upload a particular files or folders. So all these stuffs which are discussed on previous session. So followed by that, so in today's session, we want to discuss about how to particularly find a file in a folder, and then so how to download a particular file, and then how to convert a document into a PDF. So these are all the operation which are going to perform in a OneDrive. So without wasting more time, so let us quickly jump back to the UiPath Studio and start our today's session. So let me go to the UiPath Studio. So let me reuse the same connection which I established on previous videos. Let me go to the Activity Panel, search for file. So in this, we have already used our use OneDrive and SharePoint activities, and then so get file folder. So all these three activities we might be familiar, right? So let's start exploring other activities which are gonna planned in our today's session. So let me drag and drop this find files and folders. So what is the purpose of using this find files and folders? So this particular activity which help us to find a particular file or a folder in a OneDrive. Okay, so let me start using this. So how to utilize this? Uh, what are the parameters need to be paused? So how to get the output? So let me check one by one in each and everything in a property panel. So let me go to the property panel of this activity. So here you can see something called a query. So this query is nothing but which particular file you are looking for, and then subfolder. So what are the subfolder where document has been placed, and then so you can provide your first and then result. So here this both has been a drive item okay so this results will be a array of drive item and this first is will be a first value of a drive item so this is the basic difference between among these two outputs and here you can provide your drive name or a site url so let me start using this activity let me open my one drive so in this particular one drive i have already uploaded a file which is nothing but ui path documents so i was just going to look this particular file using my activity now okay what is the name here? UI path guide. So let me go over here and try to pass the values. So sub query is nothing but the particular document name. Okay. So let me provide UI path guide dot dx. Perfect. Here you are going to provide your subfolder, right? So which is nothing but UI path. So let me confirm that. So this is our subfolder, perfect. And then you can provide your first and result now. So let me go over here. Let me create it as first drive item. And then below, let me try to create as result drive item. Awesome. So since I was using my OneDrive, I don't need to provide the drive name and site URL. So in your business case, if you want to provide, you can go ahead and provide your drive name and site URL. Perfect. So now using this particular activity, you maybe find a document as a your result, correct? So you're going to perform some particular action behind this file. It may be download or it may be converting this particular file to PDF. So anything else, okay? So let me start performing this task, okay? Let me drag and drop a if condition. So I was dragging drop a if condition. So if the file may or may not be there. Okay. So it's not always the positive scenario will be occurred. So sometimes the particular file which you're going to look over there, it might be not there. So to avoid or to handle all these things, so you're going to use our if condition. So let me drag and drop our if condition. So here. So we have created variable named as result item, right? Result item dot count. Equal to zero. So if it is equal to zero, then what actually the result is? So it didn't found the particular file which you are looking for, correct? So during those scenarios, what actually you have to write? Let me remove this. Drag and drop right line. file not exist in OneDrive. Makes sense, right? So using this node, what actually the user may find? The respective file was not there in the OneDrive. So in this particular sequence, what actually we are going to do? So we are going to download this particular file, correct? So download files. So for download files, so we have to provide two parameters. So one is 
download as a file which is a one drive and then so download location which will be a the file path you have to provide okay so let me try to provide all the inputs now so let me try to use the same variable which you have created over here first drive item so this is the particular file which need to be downloaded correct so let me use this and then where you want to store your particular file so let me go to the output folder so which you already created inside your project okay perfect so let me provide this particular path so go here and paste the path so or else you can click this folder icon and you can provide your respective folder either way it works over here okay so let me save this and let me try to run this so what actually it will happen so it will find for this particular ui path guide document in your one drive if it is there then it will download the file in your local else what actually it will display the file is not exist in your one drive so let me wait for the execution now seems like our execution is done let me go to the output panel so it has been executed right perfect so let me go to the output folder and check over there so we can see the ui path guide document has been downloaded in the respective folder perfect correct so let me try to make it as a negative scenario now okay so let me try to delete this particular file and try to run this so in this scenario what actually we have to get so we have to get this right line correct so let me check on this scenario as well so let me work perfect so you have to handle both the things so in that way you will be effectively use those activities in your real time or in an enterprise world our execution is started you can see in the right hand right perfect the file not exist in the one drive cool so likewise you can utilize this particular find file folder activity to find the particular file is there or not okay so let me check with some other activity so which we are discussed export file as a pdf correct so let me go there go to the activity so let me check for pdf export file as a pdf so some might be have like word document they want to convert this document and store in the local as a pdf only not as a word in those requirements this this will be a useful one so let me drag and drop this particular activity so here what actually you have to provide as a parameter so you have to provide the file to export so this particular one as a drive item and then particular path so how you are provided in the download right so the similar fashion so you have to provide your output folder path so let me try to use the same thing so here first drive item sorry and then path so we are going to provide the same path so let me copy this go here perfect save it so before that let me try to upload the file so otherwise you will be end up with the right line only okay so or else you can change the file name as well so anything will work here so let me try to upload the particular file perfect so i just uploaded my file to run behind the past scenario so it has been uploaded now perfect so let me save and then let me debug now so what actually it, sh it should do now so it should understand the document is there in the respective one drive folder and then convert it and provide it as a pdf format in the output folder so our execution started now so let's wait for the execution to get ended looks like our execution is done now let me go to the output panel so here you can see one more pdf file so which has been converted correct awesome so likewise you can utilize all this activities of one drive and make use of in your enterprise level so in the next session so we can discuss about our copy file folders and then delete file folders and move file folders so i hope this particular session will be helpful for you thanks for watching happy learning have a good day